There comes a time in your life when you decide that you are better than your past trauma. I like to call it the two D's of life, death and diamond. Death being your inability to thrive through your trauma, diamond being exactly what you become because of it. Hello everyone, my name is Brandi Nicole. I am the CEO and founder of Trauma Fitness. Although my title gives away my passion, I use fitness to help heal trauma. Having served in the United States military for almost a decade as a behavior health specialist and now a certified trauma recovery coach, I help take trauma warriors from where they used to be to where they ought to be. A place of joy, fulfillment, freedom, no longer bound by the chains that once held them captive. Now oftentimes when we go through something traumatic, we ask ourselves the question, why me? Why did this happen to me? I've asked myself that question and subsequently went through the five stages of grief repeatedly over the last few decades. I stand here a warrior, not a survivor, a warrior. A warrior of emotional abuse, depression, being a fatherless child for most of my childhood, not to death, I didn't lose my father to death, but to the prison system. Childhood rape at the tender age of 14. Even a failed suicide attempt. Two divorces. But I stand here boldly today, y'all. Because there was once a time when I could not give my own accolades. I could not affirm myself due to the shame and the guilt. But again, I stand here a warrior. What is a warrior for me? A warrior is someone that is wise, accountable, relentless, rare, inferior, optimistic, and redefined. Did you know that one in four women and one in 26 men have experienced some type of sexual abuse to include full-blown rape? The chances of you sitting next to someone right now today that has experienced that is high. We hide behind a mask, a mask that hides the shame, the guilt, the depression, the tears, the black eyes for some. But what we forget is that that same mask hides our joy, our happiness, our ambition, our greatness, our purpose. One final question, who is tired, done, finished of letting their past trauma define and control their life? So you, what you have just decided to do is become a diamond in your life. Remember, we are not gonna succumb to death. We are diamonds. A diamond is born in a very dark place, underground, cold. It needs heat and pressure in order to crystallize and rise to the surface. That's very much like our trauma, right? We start out in a very dark, depressed, lonely place, isolated, ashamed, but it is that same pressures of light that help build us up, crystallize us, and mold us into becoming a bright diamond that shines. And once we get to the top of the surface, guess what? Everybody wants us. We are so valuable. We are displayed on people's wrists, their hands, their ears, in their jewelry stores, and they pay top dollar to see us, to wear us and represent who we are. So you have just went through the process of becoming your better self, your diamond today. Fitness comes into play because I'm taking you straight to the ring. We getting, we putting on those boxing gloves and we're punching that trauma toe to toe. This is your opportunity to punch that abuser directly in his face, get fit and look good while doing it, right? I encourage you to reach out to me. I have three powerful steps that's going to help you get to your place of diamond and stay there. The first step is to acknowledge that your trauma has happened to you, which we've already done. Step number two, remember I said we often ask ourselves the question, why me? Instead, I want you to flip that. Ask yourself, why not me? Why would you not be chosen to overcome your trauma? Why would you not be chosen to help someone else get through their trauma? Step number three, how are you accountable for keeping yourself in that trauma? It took me 22 years to tell anyone that I was sexually abused at 14. I kept myself in that trauma for two decades when I didn't have to by not admitting, 
by not telling my parents, by not getting the healing that I needed sooner. My abuser was singing a song by Faith Evans, and for decades I couldn't even listen to that song. It was a trigger. I kept myself accountable in my own pain. I began to traumatize myself over and over again by not freeing myself of it. So I call those three A's the AAA method. So the next time that you feel like you are getting ready to succumb and die to your trauma, I want you to AAA that thing. I want you to say to yourself, I am a warrior. And then I want you to shine bright like a diamond. In order to get the rest of my lovely steps of becoming your better, you can go to www.brandynicole.co where you can purchase my book. It's called Becoming Your Better. I have six wonderful steps of becoming. You can work with me one-on-one -on, -one on coaching on my online course as we get fit and ready to thrive through our trauma. And that is for my ladies. Now for my men, I haven't left you guys out. My husband has a wonderful platform as well that helps the men. Please join him on Facebook under The XY Perspective. It's a safe place for men only to heal and thrive. And we will take this journey one man and woman at a time and become our better selves today. With that, just take this with you. You are a diamond, even if you're not in the limelight. Happy healing to you.